What's going on everybody? Mitch here and welcome back to Civilization 6 and welcome back to our true location start and our DD difficulty playthrough with Poland. Now, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I think we're going to lose because I just realized last game that we are doing science victories as well. And uh, the AI has a significant bonus in that department. So they may end up launching a spaceship not too long from now. So I have a question for you guys. Do you want me to go ahead and jump into another... DD difficulty mode if that does happen or do you want me to keep on playing this through even though we technically did lose if that happens uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below and we'll kind of judge it from there uh, but let's go ahead and play this through maybe it won't happen maybe they'll kill each other before one of them launches we can only hope and pray uh, we did just uh, make peace with Germany after taking their capital although it did revolt so we do have some uh, re rebels to take care of which is not a big dish Big deal because we have a lot of uh, field cannons around. Uh, I think we're going to start turning our eye back to Russia, which is the civilization we've been pretty much picking on this entire game. Let's go ahead and get going here. I think I've already made them all my moves from last last time, so let's get going. Macedonia does not have enough room for all their units up here, it looks like. They have to go somewhere. Hopefully they don't go anywhere near me. We're still friends, so... Norway still nor Norwaying, doing their thing. Let's see. Scythians are still worrying me on the my southern border, although their army is elsewhere. The majority of their army has not been around my border this entire game, so I'm happy about that. They attacked me once, and we're easily able to repel them uh, with our defenses, so used to hopefully being able to continue that trend. Breaking on Rangers, as well as nationalism, which will be good for us because it will uh, enable us to get a more modern military as well, add a quicker production, as well as declare a different type of war. Late in this game, there's a lot of stuff that goes on that needs to be calculated by the computer, so the turns take a little bit longer. And fire at this guy. Pretty sure we can start moving most of these units back. Kind of want to take down this camp. Eh, do I want to take in the camp? Yeah, I'll probably take down the camp first. Take this guy out. Let's go ahead and upgrade him. Give him a little bit more strength there. We'll go ahead and upgrade him as well. And we'll use his musket men to take that guy out. There we go. And that's that. No more units on my lane. Keep on moving the winged hussars up. As well as these musketmen. Alright, there we go. Starting to make our move towards uh, Russia. What kind of wars can I declare? So right now, I don't really have much of a reason. To declare war on them. They have so many cities. Wish I could see where all these cities are. Interesting. It makes the positive noise whenever I do that. Like something good's happening. I think I'm positively making them angry, possibly. London's right there. Really? 
That's interesting. Oh, we met China. Yeah. God, he finds that acceptable. Where do we meet him at? Not quite sure we were where we ran into him, but maybe down here somewhere. Some Cossacks down there. Long turns now. Very long turns. <laughs> See, everybody else, England's dealing with satellites, so you know. We still have units on horseback. Let's see where we want to move this. So, last trade route was four productions, seven gold. A little bit of culture and a little bit of faith. Let's see if we can do better than that. Amsterdam best they has more money. Really like the production though. One less production, but science. Man. It's a tough call to make. Might take the money. Just to get another trader going. Ah, there's a nice city. Nice, they have a wonder. Slowly keep marching our troops this way. Keep him in there. He's gonna stay in there. And he's gonna go sleep. It wants to deal with every unit but the one I want to work with. Can I finally work with this unit? Thank you, game. Jesus. Have him skip a turn. And next turn. Finally, that cart starts making that noise. Okay, so China instantly does not like us because of our governments. Fine. Can't be because of wonders. I know they like uh, you to have wonders. Or they don't like you to have more wonders than them, and that's definitely not a problem. Sorry, Germany. You're in no place to be upset about me. Lucky I didn't take all your cities. Gonna work on it, though. So I'm pretty... Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this... Falls under this city or the capital city. I can honestly see it going either way.
In this area, it might actually be easier to take the capital than it is one of these two items. John Curtin, I speak for the people of Australia as their Prime Minister. We seek sympathetic allies in the fight against the Hawks of War. Do I count as a Hawk of War? I'm not sure. Do declare a lot of war. About to declare another one, to be honest. I'm starting to meet all these civilizations. As always, Gorgo is hitting on me. Flattered. I need to be friends with Gilgamesh again. We just need to be friends. Keep that trade route going. Let's move everybody up. everybody have him on alert I do want that siege tower okay Gilgamesh will you be our friend we do need builders too. We need to build some more builders, get more lumber camps. Good. Friends again with Gilgamesh. Awesome. Go go. Go doesn't like friends. Big John Curtin will be a friend with us. Embassy there with him. Peter now. Okay. Peter. Still no. There's no thing we can other than a uh, formal war unfortunately I want that city what would you give me for that city <laughs> are any of these cities something you're willing to give up Not willing to give up a city. But I want your cities, man. I want all of the cities. Embassies in Australia. Greece is going to war. Australia's trade with China. Australia's friends with the Aztecs, which we haven't met yet. Yeah, we haven't met them. Macedonia doesn't like Greece, of course. Macedonia has got chemistry researched. Arabia and Japan are trading. Ibrumu ayalum tibumata. Gilgamesh y Hassas. I like you too, Gilgamesh. Friends for life. BFFs. Okay, so we'll build a new uh, builder there and as well as there. And probably here, actually, since all three of them are going to free up at the exact same time. One day, this will finish. I mean, 24 turns, obviously, but... 
Feels like it's never gonna happen. I wish I see the sea's border. They're bringing a painter out to meet me. There's really no great people left for us. Kind of been left in the dust as far as great people go. So new trade route. Probably go back to that. Uh, or looking for production. Looks like Budapest is still gonna be our best. Eh, well, no. Rome is pretty good too. We get a little bit of culture as well. Yeah, let's do Rome. Go. Could always use the little bit of boost. Friendship with Rome has ended. I'd like to reunite that. Good, good, good. Friends again. What about you, Greek? Hercules, will you be my friend again? Not yet. Not yet. All right, uh, John Kern doesn't quite like us. All right, let's see. That would be nice. Get a builder first. Maybe a builder's not worthwhile there. Of course, it doesn't seem like much is. Medieval walls is probably the most practical thing to do there. We'll do this and then a builder there. Actually, I kind of want to put this guy back over here. Damn it. Hmm. I don't think if I want to move a wing to Zar back, but I kind of don't. Let's see what Peter, Peter has to say this turn. We're just gonna keep bugging him. I hate that it keeps making the noise that, hey, yeah, your deal's successful. Can't denounce him or anything. Just Stuck. I really need him to declare war on me or something. Need him to really hate us. Nice Roman frigate trap there.
A lot of people from Roll Hub people really. And Rome doesn't like John Curtin. Huh. Interesting. Kind of want this over here. So this is part of the Chevrolet's. So I kind of want to take this city before I take uh, Moscow. A valuable city. Interesting, John. Not sure why you don't like me so much. We have an embassy there. Way over here. In Newcastle. There's Stonehenge and such. It is nationalism which engenders nations, and not the other way around. It is nationalism which engenders nations. And not the other way around. I feel like I've heard that before. Alright. So, I like this defense still. Like this. This is pretty good. This is also pretty good. But I don't know if I want to get rid of this, because it's kind of helping us out a little bit. And this is definitely got to stay, because we want a big military. I think I might not use this one. Oh, it's so good. I kind of want to have it. I usually pull my units back when they get hurt. That's nice to have. Let's go with it. Might regret that immediately. We got eight turns and then we can revert it back. Yeah, cause I'm not gonna get any of these policies, so. This city's actually losing food. Try to steal another tech boost. Get another spy. Let's get a builder first, like I said I would. We can actually start making mil armies now. Let's combine those dudes together. Combine them guys. Look at that. Boosting our technologies like a madman already. Move that one there once it's ready. Okay, 
I think everything is ready. Alert. Maybe I should make this one neutral so the whole city doesn't starve. Yeah, it's not a big difference. Uh, next turn? Let's see if England wants to be friends again. Okay then. Fine. What about you, Percules? Ooh, we're not even friendly anymore. Is that good? Of course, let's check in with Peter. domination area compared to him as far as military goes we have a score of 846 for our military Peter's 566 this person is so close to winning who is this can someone kill them come on man I'm surprised our winged hazards don't upgrade into cavalry to be honest Hopefully that spy doesn't die. Stockholm is at war with Alexander. Alexander is at war with Gorgo. Well, that was... Goodbye, Gorgo. Don't think she's going to be able to withstand Alexander's onslaught. And hopefully that will get him to start fighting with the Scythians. Their offer, they want to give me 30 gold plus open wars for Hamlet, but they're not going to even accept the deal they just offered. So they want me to pay for open borders and Hamlet. No, Perculus, we ain't doing that. Get out of here. We ain't about that for free life. We ain't about that free life, trust me. <laughs> they want two things. Will you give me the raven? And the Pompeian girl or Hamlet? Okay, Let's try to see if you could be worked into a deal. France and Spain ain't getting along. Bunch of people trading. England doesn't like Macedonia either now. Interesting. Let's get another builder, even though I do want to spy here soon. That. 
Put him there. There we go. Good turn. Can we not make a full army? Can we only go two? Okay, that's fine. Fine. I don't want a full army anyways. Probably have him here. Don't know if my guns can shoot from here to there. My goal is once I start, I want to get rid of this fortification. I don't want it to shoot me. If I go up here, I may be able to avoid it. Not 100% on that one. I keep pestering Peter. And then nothing happened. Okay, then. Okay. They only have eleven gold. <laughs> As for your 11 gold, you want me to give you three? You're silly, Russia. Try not to get a warmongering penalty, to be honest. I'm trying to do this a legit way. So I'm trying to figure out how... We can get them to go to war with us. Excuse me. So let's read a little bit about war mining, just so I can understand. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Oh, it's under diplomacy. Where's diplomacy? Diplomacy. Here we go. <laughs> Just gotta scroll down a little bit. Diplomacy, where's... It said it was under diplomacy. I don't see it. Oh. Sorry, sorry. I mean, most of my cities are the enemy's religion, so I guess not considered an enemy religion anymore since we're all that religion now. We are behind them, so that does count. I need a war of. Uh, tutor tutorial, territorial expansion. Jesus, I can't speak. That's about the only way I can do it. So I'm kind of screwed as far as uh, wars go. Severe or Margaret penalty.
I might have to just suck up the warmongering penalty, to be honest. Which is unfortunate. Really don't want to have to do that. Maybe I can get a joint war? With like the Scythians? I'm gonna find someone that really hates Peter. Somebody that really hates him. That'll be willing to enter a joint war with me. Probably someone that can actually take part in the war as well. Like the Scythians or Norway or whoever else is behind here, which I can't see, unfortunately. <laughs> oh. Are you at war or are you open borders? No, England. I'm not scared for my life. I'm about to kill somebody. Come down. So, either Scythians or... currently at war with Russia or they have open borders with them. Either way, it's not good for my war declaring plans. I think I'm going to continue trading with the Athens because, uh... Yeah. That's a good trade route. These guys up, that guy there, this guy will eventually go there. Take those guys together. Let's see, if are they at war with Russia again? Or still? No, they must have an open border. Hmm. See who else? Macedonia? What do you think about Peter? Joint war Peter? Twenty gold for thirty turns, that's a lot of gold. I'll give you like one gold and like a hundred gold right now. You'll do it for 200 gold. We also do our alliance. I throw. Do that. Will you give me statue and open borders? No. Statue with no open borders? No. I'll have to give you one gold. <laughs> I'm trying to finagle this deal, guys. Calm down. It's a good deal. You should accept it. Fine. We'll do 200 gold plus the joint war. We need open borders, though, too. Never mind that. Let's do open borders first. Now let's do it. Let's see if we do it at the same time. Okay, good. He'll do it. Because we're open borders. Now he can get across my land. Hopefully he will attack Peter as well. I don't know if he will. I need him to. We'll see. Should have probably done that next turn, to be honest. Now we're going to make him hopefully cross the river to attack us. 
We'll see if we just made a terrible decision or not. Ooh, painful. Did not see those field cannons there. They're off for 16 gold for and open borders for horses and gypsum. They give me Leipzig. And I'll give you Niter as well. Okay, never mind. Twenty-two gold for thirty turns. About twenty gold. It's great. I'll take what I get. Take what I can get. Uh, we give me that. Okay. What is your total income? Twenty-two five. That's a good deal. It's not a bad deal. I'll take it. It's a lot of gold per turn. Seems like we're gonna need it. So didn't expect them to have that much, that many units. That Cossack went pretty far. Pretty far. A lot farther than I thought he would go. Which is unfortunate. So now we need to draw him in. Okay, so Macedon is pushing their army up. Good. We did lose one field gun, though. Field cannon. So we're gonna definitely have to fall back a wee bit. Is alright though. I know Gorgo, you got the hots for me. Calm down. We're gonna fall back a little bit. I'm not sure what the strength on the Cossack is. Lumber mill there. Who can we send this? Guy to we want the scientific here we'll take the scientific bonus spy yeah we'll take the spy he's got an upgrade but I can't use because I already sent him on mission on the accident before I upgraded him which is unfortunate This bombard will get absolutely wrecked by himself. Put him there. Put him there. Fortify that guy. Cossacks are 80 attack versus 63 from my double wing tazar. See what happens. See if we can draw them in. And yeah, they did come in closer. They took out that other gun real fast. That other winged hazar. Wow. And that's just because of the field cannon, really. The field cannon did a stupid amount of damage to us. So taking out these guys are going to be crucial. Placing that one there as a barrier did save this 
these two units, potentially. We need a niter mine, which means we'd have to have this. Here comes all the hate because we're warmongering, which we are. Really just want to clear out these Russian units though. Don't want to deal with them. Don't like them. England has gone neutral on us. Parts do so little damage, it's crazy. Ooh, I really shouldn't have moved him up. He was supposed to be healing. Damn it. That might have gotten him killed. Well, that's unfortunate. Hopefully, the game doesn't completely capitalize on my mistake there. What's the cavalry strength? 62. Need a military academy, really do. And we need more units all of a sudden. Let's see if this guy retreats. Ooh. Someone else just declare war? Heard the sound of a. Oh. Mahino Daro. That's Mahino Daro. Is that a. C State? Come on, Mastone. Get over here. What are you doing? You're supposed to be joining me. So they did end up attacking our our musket men there, which I kinda expected. About to take out one set of his field cans though, which is great. It's actually a net positive for us. Probably put us if we could take out one set of these uh, field cannon armies, probably put us about even on the war so far. Which we're gonna definitely take them out this turn. And we'll probably take out this Cossack this turn, too. She's mad at me because we're warmongering again. That's why I didn't want to do... Try to avoid the warmongering penalties, but... Sometimes you can't. We are getting almost 100 gold per turn, though, so... That's a good... More lumber camps. Let's take that guy down a peg. Now let's kill him. That's one pest out of the way. If we do this, that yeah, would kill him. I kind of want. I want to use this. Get him the bonus XP. Then we'll use that on him. Good, good, good. Okay. There's that. Let's move. I don't know if I want to move him. Uh, yeah, let's move him back, actually. Move him up. 
He gets chill. Turn. Heal. Go there. Okay, next turn. Please move forward, Macedonia. Please do that. For me. They're gonna give me all this crap, but then not actually give it to me? They wanna give me jeans. I'll give you four gold. I'll give you Hamlet. Hey, Philip of Spain made it to their country. I'm pretty sure I traded that a long time ago. Ooh, the Holy Grail. How about you give me those two things plus the Holy Grail, and I'll give you... I love the Telltale Hearts. Great book. Yeah, statue as well. Sorry. Sorry. Can't help you then, China. Oh, come on, Germany. After everything we've been through, you're going to go denounce me again? You know I'm a warmonger, Germany. Do you need to think I'm a warmonger? We've already been through this. Me and Macedonia are in a joint war with, uh... Oh, is he at war with France, too? Are the French at war with Macedon? Wow. That's pretty intense. <laughs> There's a weird combination of years there's pikemen alongside of anti-tank crewmen along next to field cannons catapults even i don't know what's going on anymore i'm glad russia left their field cannon there it's good news for me Another lumber mill. Hit that guy a little bit. Wow, we took out the field cannon. Nice. That actually means we can start uh, taking out some more units. Okay, we need to start repairing stuff here. The water mill first, so it gives a little bit more production, of course. Gunfire shot. Nice defense is down a little bit. Fortification health has fallen. That's what I want because I don't want to be able to shoot at me. Okay, next turn. Let's see if Russia brings anything else out. Whoa, what did that? Enemy encampment did 69 damn damage. Oh, oh the hell. Garden. I realize you have impressive wonders, but you still suck. I don't know. I can't think of any good insults for China. <laughs> I'm very intrigued by this war here, though. Ooh. I wonder who... I didn't see. Who declared this war? Did France declare war on... Macedonia? That's interesting. These fortifications are hurting us bad, though. After rifling, we're going for what? Let's see here. Into steel. 
so we can get battleships, artillery. And we're going to get more from our lumber mill, so it's important that we build those lumber mills up now. Can you fire and move the field cannon? I can't remember. I don't want to take the risk of losing the field cannon. <laughs> build a farm there. The city does need a lot of food. Just don't have irrigation to take advantage of that cotton. I think we have lumber mills on everything else except for down here. Alright, next turn. Do you have money to purchase some of my units if we need to? Fortification health in Moscow is a little bit shaky. Been hit a couple times by the Scythians, I believe. I think France made a mistake in fighting uh, Macedonia. I need more field cannons. That is for sure. Catch my spy. Damn, he was killed. I need to upgrade him. <sighs> Fix this campus. Lumber mill there. Okay. Let him heal up. And I think we're going to call it there for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We did start another war with Russia. I think we cleared out the majority of their military, I want to say. Still have this one person out here very close to a science victory. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, Russia's military is pretty much non-existent now. They're down to 77. We are down to 469, so they did hurt us. Uh, we did take blows to each other. But uh, I think we definitely came away with a victor there. Now we just need to work down these cities' fortifications so we can eventually take them. Uh, once the fortification's down and they can't return fire on us, they're pretty much just sitting ducks, though. And uh, we should start rolling through Russia, hopefully. Uh, but until then, guys, until we get to that point, I hope you enjoyed it once again. And until next time, have a great one. Later.